We're here with Leanne from Diva of DIY, and what are you going to make for us now? We are making orbs. You see them in all the magazines, orbs, orbs, orbs you uh -huh. know, things that are round, yeah. cool shapes. So, um, but they're expensive. Uh, yeah. You know. The iron. Iron, or I've even seen them in like a wicker material. Uh -huh. um, but we're going to make them with, do you know this what these so are? Cool. Ah, cross stitch. No. Knitting, no. Embroidery. Embroidery hoops. Okay, so they're round, right? So why can't we make orbs with them? Nice. So they come, I mean, right? I can't right? I mean, so, so they see. come in two pieces. Oh, so you just want to do the hula hoop. That's what I want to see. Hula <laughs> hoop it. All right, so one has a bracket on it. One is, mm -hmm. so Got one's it. smaller than the other. So we're going to put the ones with the brackets on one side and the ones without the brackets on the other side. Okay, this is how we're gonna put them together. Okay, so you just literally slide one into the other, okay? And then attach it with an upholster, or a thumbtack. Just a thumbtack. Thumbtack for this, and it's so um, thin that it'll just go right through. Yeah. Okay, and don't worry, I mean, these for, are from the dollar store. If you don't like gold, you're gonna spray paint anyway, All right. so it doesn't okay. really matter what color they are. If you want them to stay gold, you're probably going to need to spray all these first and okay. then put them in if you wanted them to stay gold or you wanted them to stay silver. Okay. 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 All right. So now we have our first grid here. So now we're going to take the two that have the um, brackets on them. Okay. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to put one inside of the other, but with this, we're going to get it right where we want it. And then, and I just slide one bracket into the other and then just tighten it up hmm. okay and then we will put a tack here at the other end right then you're now. just going to slide one into the other and you hold that one and I'll like hold to watch. this one yes perfect and then just get it i mean an orb is really whatever shape in a circular so here it is. This is what it looks like. And then we just spray paint it and we're good. Love it. And look at these. So these are finished. Yeah, these are finished ones I've done. Now this one actually could be done two ways. One, I have this sitting in an orb. I mean in a, uh, I'm sorry, in a urn. And I thought about putting like a pot or something. Oh, and having yeah. some greenery or something coming out of it. Yeah. But the other idea is to flip it over and use this as a cage for a light because light, ah. orb lights are so big right now and they are so expensive. Yeah. You look at Restoration Hardware, Pottery Barn, any of those places and you will find them. So take a small chandelier. Ah. Get the on the side. Yep. There we go. And just, you, you get oh, the picture oh, here, that right? That is awesome. And I was thinking about that for my daughter's dorm room. Like, it's so lightweight. Exactly. You can hang it anywhere. And yeah, just even hook. a string to make it look industrial. Right, because industrial is so in. I mean, think about, this was just a brass ch chandelier that I picked up at a garage sale. What if you spray painted it silver and spray painted this silver? It would look oh, so good. I love that. I'm doing that for so, my patio. Do that it. So do it. Cool. And then here were two. So I spray painted this one black. Mm -hmm. And I used exterior paint because oh, I was going to have it outside. outside okay. These were done with Minwax dark walnut stain because oh, they're I'm wood. Huh? Okay. So they're wood. And honestly, I had the gold tacks. I just stained right over the tacks and everything kind of darkened them up. You know, gold is in. Oh, yeah. Gold is in again. I know it. I know. So I had these just sitting um, with some books and some stuff in my home. So. Love it. 